Hey everyone, I'm Jared. And I'm Chantel. Welcome to the Port Out Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about money. That did that did sound ominous. Yeah. Money. 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 Because I well, I feel like it's like a taboo subject for some people. There's like there's the the people that love talking about money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know who you're thinking about. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm thinking about. <laughs> and then there's people. I think most people are probably more like at least in our culture, it's like oh we don't talk about that. Yeah, I grew up in a family that likes to talk about <laughs> it. I'm assuming you're talking about my grandpa. You you were you had the look on your face. I know because he likes to ask, "What do you do for work? And how much money do you make?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where yeah, his conversations but, go. Yeah, we're uh, we'll, we're gonna more talk about like we're not, budgety. We're not gonna talk about how much stuff. money we make. Yeah, which is good because I don't know how much money I make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the plan. Less ominous than it sounds. Yeah, not scary. We won't ask everybody to type their income in the comments no but i do think it's that it's something that a lot of couples seem to struggle with or like it seems to be a source of conflict talking about it and like while talking about it and just deciding like where how to use it. yeah like how you know you run up family finances right it seems here's it seems to be a problem here's the key i'll tell everybody the whole oh key right oh. out, right off the bat oh just marry somebody that doesn't spend any money and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was the Porto podcast. Was it? No. no. Um, <laughs> I spend money sometimes. Yeah, but not much. I feel like I'm the most spender. Anyway, we're anyway. going to do a little... I wanted to do uh, things I Googled. Yes, right. So we're going to start um, with that. Section to start. I thought we could just alternate. Sure. Do you want to go first? Um. Sure. So uh, this is... Okay, first of all, I Google many many things throughout yeah. the week yeah this is not all of the google things we're, we google we're each going to do five things but i left off like well, i mean 500 would maybe be too much but i probably google about a hundred things a week on average i i will find out and i will i report back i feel like that would be low but i guess uh if if you separate my like work googling yeah. things from well that's different. from home googling things maybe it's maybe it's a hundred things personally i'm curious but. how many things do you google in a week but then sometimes you google something and then you'd like change one word because you didn't quite get the results that, that you wanted counts. um that doesn't count doesn't count so different generally different ideas or, although yeah. sometimes you google something you're like okay and i didn't word that right else, so. i have to like word this differently yeah but anyway okay yes i was gonna start so the okay. first thing that i googled <clears throat> uh we went to the zoo with friends this week and we searched while we were there because we were asking, do elk antlers fall off? Because Ooh. the people we were with, she said she knew that there was one of those large, I don't know what, how do you group them? What are they? Like large deer? Deer? I don't know. Um, one of them, their antlers fall off. And there was a male who didn't have antlers. So we were curious. And? Yes, they do fall off. But... This male obviously like had them burned off because they're supposed to fall off in March and he still didn't have any. Oh. So they should have regrown. Yeah. So either there was like, maybe that's why he's in the zoo or maybe they, for zoo safety purposes, I have no idea. Some kind of reason they took them off. But elk antlers do fall off. Huh. There you go. I I learned something new. Yep. What did you Google? Okay. So the first one that I... I feel like this is going to be funny. This is, well, no, it is, it's kind of funny. It's from a week ago. Okay. What did we do a week ago? I have no idea. A week ago, Sunday. Nothing. I don't know. I Googled West Bow Construction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we went to an open house. <laughs> and we yeah. very much were like, we're just looking. We're not buying. Yeah. Which is funny for us because that's what we said when we bought, this place. bought the current place that we're living in. Was, yeah, we'll just go to the open house and then. We walked away and decided to build a house with them. Yeah. So anyway, so I, yes, yeah, it's the construction company that made right. the, the open house. What did you learn about the company? Uh, Is it not good much. Quality? Well, they're doing like 
the like whatever, a like the show water show home kind of thing with a, one of the lotteries, I think. Yeah. So. So she said. Yeah, that that was true. Was I found true. You that googled out. that out. Yeah. <laughs> googled it. Go- yeah, googled, googled that out. Googled that out. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's a phrase I could use actually. Well, and because. Yeah, when we after we built this place, then we mm-hmm. heard there was all kinds of sketchy things with the the company that that built this place. Built this place, so we didn't have any problems, but lots of other no. people have. Yeah, and there's yeah and shady we, things yeah. after that fact that <laughs> fleeing the country. Yeah, but okay, so anyway, they, they have a but good... they, they seem legit. Okay, so we should we're, buy this place. We're still not by. We're still not moving yet. I uh, <laughs> we we were like yeah, not not gonna buy a house. We walked into the master bedroom and I was like, just let me sign the papers. Where do I sign? It was a really nice master bedroom. Yeah. I was old. Yeah. I lots still... of windows. Really bright. and mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. So anyway. That's right. We did that a week ago. Yeah. That's so long ago. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Um, the next one I searched was uh, Precious Moments Coloring Pages. Interesting. I think we are going to have to... We have little interruptions here. Um, yes. So Rika wanted a coloring page, Precious Moments coloring pages. And do you remember receiving a Precious Moments oh, coloring book? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think last I knew I still had mine. We got them in Sunday school from, I like remember who, um, when we were like kindergarten or grade one or Not, something. My parents probably still have mine in their house somewhere if my mom has kept it. She has all kinds of old coloring books yeah so childhood. i printed off one of the pages and i don't know i feel like that coloring book had all the precious moments pictures in existence because every time i google it i'm like oh yeah that one was in there and that one was in there so it was nice. a blast from the past yeah okay my next one's like not super exciting it's uh best walking shoes slip on because <laughs> you don't know how to tie your shoes no because <laughs> i don't want to have to tie my shoes I know, every time i've been in that boat for the last few years yeah. i like it because i brought my shoes back to call school because they were like ripped on the side in a way that wasn't from wear yeah and so i was like oh i'll just return them and get you know just exchange them basically yeah only to find out they didn't have them anymore and so now i don't have any like shoes to go for walks in and yes. i'm wearing really uncomfortable shoes every time you go for a walk did you find any uh nothing that's like nothing i was super sold on i really liked the ones that i had i kind of just wish i would have yep. kept them even with the rip because it wasn't that big of a deal but it was like yeah well they were new pretty much and yeah. so i wanted to exchange them but anyway yeah i did discover there was there was some options there's options just trying to find them locally is a challenge and i don't want to order them online and sketchers doesn't have they don't have the same ones that i had hmm. i think that was like a costco only thing interesting um, I, I love my sketchers like old lady shoes already it's good not then, a sponsor uh yeah no <laughs> not quite next thing i searched was um strange planet cat names is what i wrote because we were looking for the strange planet comic where they're talking about a collar and right. how the caller is for the name, yeah. but the cat will never respond to the yes. name. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I remember that because we wanted to show Reka. Yeah. Okay. I searched alacrity. I don't know what that is. Me neither. That's why I searched it. We, what, where is this from? It was in a book that I was reading. Oh, that's right. And I don't and even asked... remember which book. And I asked you if you knew what it meant. Yeah. And I didn't know what it meant. So I Googled it. And I found out what it meant, and now I completely forgot her. Yeah, that's both. So, yeah, no, sounds about right. I'm going to search it right now because. Okay. It, alacrity, Wait. brisk and cheerful readiness. So I don't feel like that go. word sounds like it, what it means. No, I would agree. But if I was to make a definition of alacrity, it would be more like a negative context or like. I would almost say the opposite, like cheerful for readiness. I feel like it almost sounds like, well, like kind of just apathy. Well, and it kind of sounds like um, acidity, right? So like it's yeah. got this like kind of negative, negative con- connotation. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. Well, apparently we're wrong. Well, <laughs> so <laughs> they can't just change the, uh, the definition. definition based on what we feel. I don't think oh, we can try. But. 
Okay, uh, the next thing I searched for was a random number generator. Mm. I don't know why I just don't have it bookmarked. I search it every single time. Oh, I guess Google has one when you search it. It pops up in the If you just search a random search. number. Yeah. I used it for my reading sprints that I did right. yesterday, this Saturday. Yeah. Um, I was picking my books based off of my random number generator because I didn't want to make decisions. Hmm. I think number generators are good for that. If you don't want to make a decision, let Google do it for you. Unless it's an important decision, then maybe... Should we buy this house that we went to? <laughs> Random number generator. Well, let's see. One for yes, two for no. One for yes. Anything else is no? <laughs> no, you just do numbers or, one, one through two. <laughs> <laughs> one through two. Okay. Well, I googled another thing that we're not going to buy. A Gravity Industries jet suit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't heard of this. Explain more. Uh, it's like, I don't even know. It must have been like a suggested video or something on YouTube. Okay. But it's it's a jet suit. So it's you're, like, is you, this going on your Christmas wish list? Uh, no. I don't actually don't know how much it costs. But oh, well, this, we'll, we'll talk it about It costs this. like several thousand dollars just to try it out for 10 minutes, I think. So probably not in our price range. Have you added it into our budget? No. <laughs> jet suit. It's not a, yeah, it's like, I don't know, like strapped jets to their arms and go fly that doesn't even sound realistic They'd like fly over they were demoing flying from the dock onto a boat over water. oh actually i did hear about this yeah your family was talking about it i think i think that's where i heard about it could be yeah i mean it looked cool it looks, but not sounds really like superhero -ish. <clears throat> yeah it's like iron man kind of deal mm -hmm. but you can only go for like 10 minutes or something still it's better than Pretty I can cool. do now. And I think I was I was trying to figure out how much it actually costs. Mm -hmm. But I think if you have to ask the question, you don't have enough money. <laughs> okay. So that won't go on the wish list then. Uh, the last thing I searched was Great Britain Pounds to Canadian because we were looking up buying tea. Me and Rika were looking up buying tea from Britain. Oh, yeah. Because a girl that we watch on YouTube made her own tea with this British company. And it cost the equivalent of $30 Canadian for the tea, 150 grams, and $30 for shipping. So, and neither of us like tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> really not a great investment. We decided for... maybe that was a little much yeah. for us. What did, what did oh. you just Google now? I had to re-Google my last one because it was another definition. Oh. It's soteriology. Soteriology. How do you spell that? S-O-T-E-R-I-O-L-O-G-Y. Okay. It's the doctrine of salvation. It's oh. It's a fancy word for the doctrine of salvation. So I've been going through um, stuff for... So I'm elder candidate at church, uh, within our church. So been going through a lot of like different theological things, um, learning things and, and studying. And I, I think I've Googled this word and a few other words like five times in the last few weeks because I keep forgetting like... Which one's which or what they mean? Each wh one? What the actual definition mm -hmm. of that word means. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, I know you've told me some so, of the definition or not the definition, some of the words like, I don't know any of that stuff. Yeah, well, once you Google it, it's like, okay, I understand what that is, but I you don't usually hear it in the like, the theological, um, right. academic kind of word, I guess. Yeah, the average person doesn't. Yeah. And I'm like a blow the average person, so <laughs> I definitely don't. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's a, I think I had probably, like, and other searches at least on those words of different words right. trying to get definitions of things if we yeah. if we sat here and told you all the things we googled in a week that would we'd be here all week yeah yeah it's a long list one thing that i thought would come out that didn't from our googling i mean mine was kind of related um we got a kitten this weekend i was gonna say week but really it was this weekend so I thought maybe some of our Googling would lead that way, but it didn't really. Well, there was, I think I had like a litter training, Google mm. search, and um, I think there might have been another one that was cat related. I, I thought you would have the cat ones on your list. I didn't so. actually, I didn't Google cat things. No? 
No. I just feel like an old pro. Just been there, done that. Yep. Keep going back. Yep. <laughs> Keep going back. Getting dragged back in. I feel like this one's not our kitten. This one is Reka's kitten, so. Yeah, definitely. So potentially, like a few minutes ago, there was meowing that was going on because there was definitely a kitten meowing outside the door. Yeah. What happens again, we'll just bring it in here. Yeah. Just meow the entire time. Yeah. I can do the podcast for sure. us. Yeah. yeah. Talking about mo- money and budgeting, it all goes to this. No. <laughs> it is in the budget. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's talk about money. Oh, before we do. Okay. Um, I want the listeners to go through their search history and tell us one random thing that they searched. Oh, that's good. And then come onto the YouTube video and leave a comment and tell us something they searched and maybe like why you searched why? it <laughs> if it needs some context <laughs> yeah or what it is it's amazing or... how many things like google for like homeschool purposes too all, yeah all week well yeah and i feel like half i and i tell people that half my job i feel like is googling things mm-hmm. so because i do like web development work and yeah it's a lot of like oh what's the best way to do this or how do you do that so yep. just being good at googling things is a life skill i think it really is yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Budgeting. So, I don't know. You you actually suggested the topic originally. Yeah. Of budget I, stuff. I wanted to do this topic because I feel like it's very practical and not something I'm really good at. <laughs> so. I'm not sure I'm good at it either. I think I enjoy it more. Which I'm not sure if enjoy is the right word, but. Uh, I well, I feel like most couples that I know the woman does the budgeting and the paying of the bills and we are flipped that way yeah i don't think i've paid like a single bill since you know how to pay our bills well i could figure it out (laughs) if i needed (laughs) but you just do it yeah i don't know it seems natural to just take that you were always better with math so i go with that yeah yeah even though it has really nothing to i don't have to do any math I just Google it if I need to do math. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, I mean, we we got married when we were 20. Yep. We didn't have money. We were so broke. (laughs) You were going to university. Mm -hmm. I just got out of college. Yeah. Or school. Had a job for like a couple months. Had a job for a few months making very little money. Mm -hmm. And so thinking back now to that, it's like, how did we even eat or but i i mean sorry i remember us trying to do the crunch the numbers before we got engaged or after we got engaged and just being like we're not gonna be able to do this like there's no way the numbers didn't work out i don't know and yet they did yeah 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 i mean and we didn't really do we haven't done budgeting for really that long no not the way we do it now yeah it's only been like maybe four or five years okay Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's, it's actually maybe a little bit longer. Just oh. Be, yeah. I think we started it before we moved to this house. For some reason, when we were in that rental place right before this, for some reason, I think we were starting then. It could be. So that would be so about eight years. Eight years, maybe. Yeah. But for the first few years, we didn't. And mm-hmm. we didn't have any money. And we were very fortunate that we like we were able to buy a house trailer a very very <laughs> sad for, excuse for a house yeah uh which yeah thinking back now it's like oh yeah that was that was an experience but <clears throat> anyway so we we haven't had a lot of money no. like when we were young younger especially um no i can't remember where i was going with this we didn't have much money. We bought a house trailer, but it um, doubled in value in the few years that we were there. Right. Yeah. So that was helpful. So that, I mean, that helped a lot for sure. But we've never, like, it, it's always kind of been like, at least for the first few years, it was always pretty tight. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we didn't have money left over to save for things or anything like that. Like it was. No. And then one time in our house trailer, our water heater Got a oh, it cracked and, and it, it got all over the place. Yeah. We had to borrow money from one of our parents to buy a new one. Yeah, it was like eight hundred bucks or something. We didn't have that. Yeah, extra. Yeah. Yeah, and so I feel like 
budgeting then probably would have been really beneficial to start yeah. at that point. Mm -hmm. But I feel like even since we have paid more attention to like what's coming in and what's going out, it's made a big difference. Um, and that's, I feel like the, one of the reasons I think it's important is just to, you don't really realize where your money is going necessarily. Oh, I do. It's all books. Well, <laughs> you think so though, <laughs> but no, it's true because you can spend a bit here, a bit there, and then yeah. like, that really adds up. Especially when it's just like little stuff, right? That because yeah. you don't really think about when you spend five, ten, twenty bucks, but if you do that like ten times a week, yeah, it really adds up. And so that's one of the benefits that I've found is like you see like oh we spent X number of dollars at this store, why did we do that? Yeah, and then you can kind of adjust from there. Um, the other thing that I feel like it lets you or kind of forces you to look at what you're prioritizing. Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. when, yeah, you see like money going to a certain thing versus another thing. And it's like, oh, is this really more important to me than this other thing? Right. And without kind of keeping track of that you don't really like you might say yeah I, I this is really important to me but then the way you spend your money is completely opposite of that well yeah like I, I there's some kind of saying that I don't remember at the time right now but something about you know if you really want to see what you treasure look at what you're spending your money on right yeah and sometimes you think you value this one thing but really you're obviously valuing this other thing more mm -hmm. yeah yeah, and it's I, I think it's kind of a like I, I feel like it's good stewardship of what we've been given to at least like I'm not saying you have to like everybody has to go down to the dollar of you know where things are going, but I, I think to at least kind of have an idea of where your money is going, what you're prioritizing, mm -hmm. um, especially even like you know giving to the church or, or other ministries is like is this is this a priority am i showing it or is it evident that it's a priority yeah. to me that you give to god's mission right um and I, I feel like it's also has allowed us to be more generous in many ways without necessarily having more income because you're when you are able to see like oh I'm, we're probably spending too much on this thing which really isn't that important yeah and you cut that out then it gives you more flexibility to be more generous with people mm -hmm. like one of the things that we've started recently is just having like a hospitality line in the budget and so that just keeps getting stuff added to it so yeah. that when we need or or see a need i guess or want to be able to bless somebody then there's money there already and we don't have to go like okay well what do we take from this what, month yeah or? what do we take for what do we do without and, and i mean it's it's good to also be willing to do without but it, it's also nice when it's like you have that kind of money sitting there to be like hey you know someone needs this we can help with that yeah yeah i do really like that and we've used the hospitality budget for a few different things in the past, even hosting things. Sometimes when we had big groups that we were hosting, it was yeah. nice to have like, okay, I know I have the money to buy snacks for these people. Yeah. And, or paying for meals for people and stuff. When yeah. it, it feels like, you know, it would just be like, it's not something that we could necessarily afford if it was just a monthly thing, but it's when you've kind of saved up money in that yeah. area, then you can, have the flexibility to be like hey i think these people would really benefit from that or appreciate it and you know we, we get to do that which yeah, is it's fun it's fun yeah and it make the feel like the, the older you get the more like it's better to more fun to give than to receive yeah it for sure actually feels more and more true like when you're like eight it's like nah, i'm pretty sure getting something <laughs> is better yeah but now as a parent like when christmas comes around it's so fun to see kids reactions and I get that same feeling sometimes when we do different things, give yeah. different things to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even with Christmas coming up, like that's a good, good um, example because 
I feel like in, in years before we would budget, we wouldn't, like it, Christmas would come up and be like, okay, like we want to buy gifts and stuff, but we don't have money yeah. for gifts. And <laughs> yeah. so now you're spending all this money, you're trying to like, and you're stressed because it's like, well, we didn't plan for this. And now in January, I'm going to have to, you know, really pay the off the credit card kind of thing. Cause we always, always have a $0 on our credit card and like don't want any debt there. So yeah, it, it ends up being stressful, which mm -hmm. is not like, should not be the case. <laughs> it's not really the, the feeling you're going for with the season. No. And you want to have joy in giving gifts, mm -hmm. not stress. stress. <laughs> yep. And so then the last, at least the last four or five years then it's just like every month some money gets put aside mm -hmm. for christmas gifts and then when yeah. it comes around then it's you know it's already essentially they're already paid for yeah right and you also know like okay well this is how much we can spend mm -hmm. are you so. going to talk at a certain point about the kind of budget that we have or yeah well we've tried a few we've tried a few different things over the years so we used mint. Remember we used mint for oh, a while? Yeah. Which was like a it it connected to your accounts and like credit cards and bank accounts and then it automatically synced all your stuff, which was nice. But it was more just like a this is what has been happening. Right. And it was hard to kind of I guess pre adjust or pre-plan, like yeah. And so a few yeah, I, I don't know when we started, but I'm not sure. Yeah, possibly eight years ago. I feel like it. I could be wrong. The the stuff we have right now goes back to 2018. Because but, but they something happened. updated they the software. Their, yeah. So we use uh, something called You Need a Budget. Yeah, and it's it's a zero-based zero based budget. Is that what it's called? Like there's, there's a few different apps that have the same general idea. Yeah, the idea, they the way they put it is you have, you give every dollar a job. And so whenever you have income, you assign that income into different categories of where you want, like different budget categories, yeah. whether it's like food or, you know, your rent or mortgage or heating or whatever. Um, Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts. Um, yeah. So they, they, they phrase it as give every dollar a job. And so there isn't just like money sitting there, but it's all kind of spoken for already. Yeah. So in theory, you have like $2,000, you break it down, you want to like obviously have enough for your mortgage and your expenses, and then you have $500 left, and then you can put it into like the more fun categories, right? Like yeah. Entertainment, I don't know, travel, savings, yeah. that kind of idea. Yeah, and, and like that's how you get to see like what you prioritize, right? Yeah. When you get that $2,000, obviously there's things that you need to survive, um, but it's even like, you know, you kind of have to mentally think, okay, well, I'm going to put my money into giving right. first, right? And whereas it kind of it takes you away from the mentality of like, well, I'll give whatever I have left over Yeah. to like, is that is that the right priority? And if it isn't, which I, I don't think it is, then like you have to, you can put that in the budget of, okay, like I'm taking that off first and now, now here's what I have left yeah. for everything else. So, um, yeah, but, but then it's also like, it's not super strict either. Like it's pretty easy to move because the reality of life is like stuff comes up that you don't expect and you have to move things around. And like, it's ideal to have an emergency fund kind of in yeah. your budget, but sometimes things don't you don't have enough money in that emergency yeah. fund or something. So you can kind of like move things around or more, maybe you needed to spend more on groceries because food prices are crazy or, or whatever. And so then you can adjust things around there. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. We do that quite a bit. And then the other thing that I think has helped uh, with, I guess, I don't know, not really, maybe, maybe w would help with stress or kind of the, the day to day, um, thinking about money is they call it, they, they call it age your money. So you're, oh, yeah. they have like an age of your money in the app, which is essentially like if you didn't have any other income, 
Like you didn't have anything come in, how long would your money last based on your budget? Right. And so the goal is to, I think their goal is maybe 30 days. I think it's a month. Do you have a month to bring in income before you're in trouble? Maybe that's their like baseline goal or essentially you're, the money that comes in this month, so the money that comes in October, I'm budgeting it for November. Right, yeah. So you're not budgeting like, okay, well, I need this much money for groceries this month, and I'm, I'm hoping it comes in this right. month. But you're, you got this money in, and you're paying for your budget. You're always a month ahead, essentially. Yeah. Next month's groceries. At least a month ahead. And th- yeah, so the idea, yeah, there is you can actually pre plan, and you're not stressed wondering, you know, if something happens and all of a sudden that money doesn't come in how are you going to adjust and it's kind of just have a little bit of a buffer yep so yeah i I think it's been really good just like i said to keep track of where the money is going just to be able to have an idea of yeah what what am i prioritizing is there ways that i'm not spending wisely with what i've been given yeah. And so um, like the theory is you, you go shopping, you have your receipt, you put that into the app, the yeah. app, you need a budget, whatever, um, app for, you, you say the price that you spent and then you categorize yeah. where it goes. So if you went to like Walmart and you bought some groceries and some clothes, you can split you it, you can split it into those different categories. Sometimes you split it into eight different categories. Yes. And you can, I mean, you can in these in this in in you need a budget which i'm going to call ynab from now on yeah. because you need a budget is a really yeah. long name yeah um you can basically create as many categories as you want so right. you can get really granular granular if you want but you can also be more general and i think the more you use it you probably would get more granular maybe I, it depends to on the person point, too right? probably yeah that might be a personality thing yeah because there are also reports there where you can see how much did you spend at a particular store mm-hmm. or in a particular category over a certain amount of time. And so you can kind of go back. And I, I like looking at data yeah, nerdy. and stuff. So it's kind of fun for me to see <laughs> what's the most, you know, what percentage of our income goes here versus here. Mm-hmm. And I, it's a, yeah, I think it's made us change some things for sure yep um reprioritize things i think it's made you less stressed about money yeah because you know yeah how in much some we have ways and where it's going. yeah i feel like in most ways yes less stress but i feel like in some ways it still does have an ele- element of, of anxiety because it the temptation then is to watch things like a little bit too closely, I feel yeah. like, and just to focus on money a little bit too much. And so like, that's the other side you can swing to, I guess. Yeah. And so that's not healthy either. I would so. say most people though swing the other way. I think it's probably a small yeah. percentage that probably. would be so focused on it. Yeah. So what do you do if you are married to someone that is terrible at putting the receipts in? Uh, auto import. Okay. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience here. Yeah, I'm not super good at it either because they have, like, it can sync to the bank account now and credit card and stuff, so it will just bring it in. And the difficult thing is, like, when the receipts don't get put in and it is, like... A million different categories. The dollar store yeah. or Walmart, where it's like, it, this could be anything. I have a receipt sitting on my nightstand from last week that each of the kids bought something, so there's stuff has to come out of their bank accounts in quotation marks yeah and then there's some of it was grocery and some of it was i didn't remember it's going to be like eight different categories and i'm just avoiding it but i will do it it's there (laughs) i believe you it might already actually have gone in well it went in but not correctly i saw that oh okay yeah because i mean sometimes it'll sink and then it'll just automatically yeah and the kids were like oh i want this i will i will buy this yeah so yeah i mean that's how we manage their how much money they have right now because they don't have their own bank accounts yeah. Yet, so and they have an income because they have a couple of paper routes yeah so they have money coming in but it's goes directly to our bank it's not cash so yeah that's how we keep track of that yeah yeah so i mean that's worked for us 
I mean, different things will work for different people. Mm -hmm. Going forward, I think we'll soon get the kids' bank accounts. Yeah. But. Yeah, and then I would like to have something for them to keep track of where they're spending their money to. Just, just especially like as a kid, to n learn some of those skills yeah. of kind of realizing, oh, if I spend, you know, five dollars at the dollar store on candy every week then all of a sudden i don't have really very much money to buy this thing i wanted to yeah. save up for so i'm not sure if we'll use the same tool it's probably a little overkill for for them it's but a little intense they need a junior version yeah ynab junior yeah business idea <laughs> yeah so like i said uh, that's what we do that's what i think has been working pretty well for us we don't really have conflict about money i think we're on the same page on what our priorities are oh if anything i just feel guilty that because i know i spend more money than you but we do have um we give ourselves an allowance yeah which helps actually that when we started doing that that helped a lot it alleviated that guilt right of like yeah. oh i want to buy this but then like, especially when we had less money yeah well and i tend to be a a little bit here a little bit there kind of person and you don't spend anything for months and then want like i don't know want something expensive generally yeah no that that's accurate i i don't spend money frequently but sometimes i will look at a bigger ticket item yeah. i guess like a jet suit yeah, apparently. <laughs> Keep saving just that money. <laughs> 400 years and I might have enough for a down payment. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Do you have any other thoughts? No, I think on... that's most of it. I'm curious to hear how other people budget, though, or or yeah. don't, or yeah. how that works. Or... What works for other people. Let's unawkwardly talk about money. I won't <laughs> ask you how much money you make. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the big takeaways is... is the biggest thing has been just yeah realizing like being more of aware of what you're prioritizing i think is the biggest most yeah. important thing right because we've all been given like everything we have has been given to us yeah and so we want to steward it wisely and i mean this i feel like that's one tool that you can use and that's not the only way to make sure you're stewarding your money wisely but it it has helped us for sure yeah. so yeah i think that's See, good not not that scary of a topic you didn't ask me how much money i made i didn't no. ask you how much money you made no though i'm pretty sure we know that we also like aren't like our money is our money it's oh, not yeah. like you know there's some people well, that keep everything if, separate which if i had to survive off of the money i make i'd be <laughs> struggling <laughs> You had your own bank account yeah depends though then where does the expense well i'm living out? in this house i'd have to share the expenses you pay, wouldn't i you can pay me rent <laughs> i guess so I, that's, I don't understand no, i mean that's accounts. that's not how marriage should work yeah in my opinion it's like to become one not two bank accounts <laughs> <laughs> one with two bank accounts no yeah. that doesn't quite work no anyway yeah that's that's how we do things. Yeah. Curious to, to hear what works for other people yeah. and, and also what you've Googled lately. Yes. Tell us at least one thing that you've Googled lately. Like, what are other people Googling? The kids definitely used my account. I'm pretty sure it was the kids because somebody just Googled a tail on my account. And I don't, I'm pretty sure that wasn't me. I wonder if that was like a, a Hey Google, like Google Home right. search. Because sometimes been. they think it, that Google thinks it's your voice. Yeah. It thinks the kids are me yeah yeah it makes me feel better that they don't think it doesn't think they're me i guess <laughs> i'm not sure that's so good for ephraim though <laughs> well he's nine <laughs> all right well thanks for joining us and yeah leave any comments on the youtube video as always and we uh, appreciate the the support and we'll see you next week bye